Right, so I only got second place. In any case, I'm Jace Far, and we're gonna be here with what should be the finale of Nightmare in Dreamland, as we face off against the boss of Rainbow's Resort. None other than King DDD himself. Honestly, I think King DDD is probably one of the coolest um, people in the Kirby universe. But it's weird, though, because he's not actually considered an antagonist. Please don't kill me. I think he's also got the potential to be really scary. Ow, fuck you. I'm, I'm gonna die. This will be the boss that I die to. As if I haven't already died to Krako. He's got, like, really awesome music, too. But I mean, like, listen to the noises he makes in Brawl. Like, that's scary to me. <laughs> that's not a normal noise. In any case, if I fail this, we're gonna go ahead and cut away until I eventually get it, because it's just gonna be harder from here on out. Yes, you can eat me. That's terrifying, too. Especially considering how big you are, and you're gonna hit me. Wow. That was a lucky dodge. Go ahead. No, I was hoping you would use your hammer so I could pick up a star. And overall, he's just kind of cool. One thing I noticed about Nintendo games is they have some sort of strange fascination with unjust kings. Because King Didi is nothing more than just a self-proclaimed king. Stop fucking doing that. And like, Bowser, he's the king of the Koopas. And then we have King K. Rule. King of the Kremlings. Stop it! Fuck you, King of the Kremlings. Please, he's gonna hit me. Jesus Christ. No, I didn't... Oh my god, you're so dumb! Facing the wrong way, stupid. Facing the wrong way, stupid. Facing the wrong way. Why do you keep doing that? Jesus, man. There you go. Yeah, no, that's totally cool. You just get it back and let's lose it. Well, let's see if we can go without it. <laughs> oh, watch me die right now. Seriously. Oh, for the love of fuck, it was right there. You missed. Hurry up. We have one more hit, and that's it, and I only have two. Just fucking swing your hammer, please, please, please. It's not swinging your hammer. Come on, you're wasting time! Well, I'm back after, finally, I'm not a very good Tohu player, so I'll probably be messing up and re uh, yeah, having to redo this. But here you go, this is the final area, the Fountain of Dreams, the final boss. As usual, for some reason, Kirby games like to throw this kind of shit at you, but I don't know. They feel it's a cool idea to fight, like, fucking circles or some shit. 
That's one thing about Kirby that I honestly like that most people don't consider is that honestly it's kind of weird. <laughs> like, um, what's it? Marx is a pretty fucking creepy guy. Um, what's it? Uh, Zero Two, I believe. That's supposed to be like some sort of angel or whatever that would like feed off of you know dreams and shit. Or so I've been told, and like the fact of, you know, how he is in Kirby 64, like he's mutated and everything, like, when you get right down to it, Kirby's kind of weird and interesting. That's one thing I gotta say I like about it. Please, stop, I'm gonna die, thank you. Jeez, if I had died right there. At least I did it in one go, right? And by the way, I didn't cheat. I noticed I missed a one-up game, so I went back and redid it. So, and if you're wondering why my lives changed, that's why. Yeah, there's no chance of me winning, so I'd rather just kill myself then. In any case, <laughs> that is Nightmare. He is what is, you know, inside the Fountain of Dreams. He's kind of a weird guy. He's been, he was the main antagonist and all that in the TV show, so that, that'll, you know, bring back some memories or whatever. I don't know, I never knew anything about video game TV shows or anything when I was younger. So I never saw any, like, Kirby right back at you or Mario show. Or I never even knew any of those existed in anything when I was younger. Wow. In any case, the only way you can hurt him is when he, um, reveals his tornado underside like that. And he's got a little cape deflecting everything else, so... My only strategy is just to press buttons and hope for the best. Because I feel like it's pretty much just that. I mean, it works, right? I've already got him mostly dead and he's not even really touched me. Please go away. <laughs> Honestly, I was struggling with him more when he was just a circle. Come on, open up. Granted, it's pretty time-consuming. Now that I say that, he's gonna kick my ass. I'm gonna die right before, and that'll be just my luck, right? No, seriously, like, freaking show your thing and let me kill you, because this is taking quite a while. Like, this is all we have to do is just finish this, and then I can go to sleep and get yelled at in the morning. Sweet. There you have it. Nightmare in Dreamland. And I got it redone and everything just in time. All I need to do is like make sure to rush and edit it. <laughs> or like put it on my own computer. I could move it. And then edit it on my computer. So there's that as a possibility. In any case, I think it turned out better than it did the last time. I enjoyed it a lot more. Had more fun. Didn't get as angry. I honestly got worried um, about something else. But 
it, it's fine. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, if you watched. If you didn't, well, then you don't hear what I say. Um, as far as other Kirby games go, it's possible. But more than likely, what will happen would... I'd probably lean more towards Superstar or anything. I don't know. It, I'll see how things go, but yeah, there's possibility for other Kirby games. And as of right now, I just I need to find out what to do. Like I said, I'm also thinking about, you know, maybe replaying Paper Mario. So, God forbid I do that. Only thing is whether or not I 100% or not. Because I could do, like, right now in 100%, or not 100%. Because, you know, star pieces, I don't know where those are. But I mean, like, I could build up a guide and go with it as it happens. It'd take a little bit, but, like... I could totally work at trying to at least get it 100% because I don't want to get it 100% for my own self, but getting 100% on camera is where the challenge is. But yeah, I don't know, that's just something I've been thinking about. Um, I don't really know what much else to say. I mean, I'm always going to be messing with something. I'm probably just going to like throw upon something I already had, so this way I'm not releasing really, really, really old shit, because right now I'm already pushing the boundaries, but yeah. This is a gift to you guys. Ooh, also, there was one other thing I wanted to ask when I was talking about the whole, um, you know, marketing controllers goes. Like, how, because I know if you, um, they can play a new sub-game, Boss Endurance, I imagine that might add to your percentage, too, in any case, I've never done it. There's my points up there. Um, like, you know, if you draw, like, an image of Kirby, you know, that, I guess, would be considered using his imagery. Like, I don't know how legal that is or whatever, but yeah. And you'd be making money off of it. So if you're a tattoo artist, like, how far into crossing the line is that? I don't know. Um, I'll probably word it better later, but yeah, as for now, Nightmare Injury Mine's done 88%. Don't fully understand it, but whatever. Things happen. I'll see you guys later. It's JC4R, and it is 424 in the morning. I think it's a good time to join the sleepy people. Holy shit, I just finished Nightmare in Dreamland, and it's telling me to go to sleep, and I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night, guys. JC4R.